get your leads? Hold where, on. Where do I get? Where do you get your leads? Uh, I don't pay a dollar in advertising. Just say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have but, a fucking website. Well, actually, honestly, I don't have a fucking advertising. Nothing. Well, actually, I'll be honest. Well, uh, I, see, I always forget that I pay for Wedding Wire than not because it became just so, like, it hits the card. It's yeah, air. It's, it's constant. It's like air. The stuff that hits my mind is, like, when I got to pay fucking a grand to get a wedding show booth or something like that. Like, I actually damn. signed up for now the one in Raleigh. Mm-hmm. Did you do that one? Recent? No, that's the one we had the conversation where you're like, yo, dude, you need to get back to the one in Raleigh. And I'll, I was like, I don't I'll, know. I'll only tell a friend that. Yeah. And then I guess if some motherfucker happens to listen to this, but the Raleigh ones are where <laughs> it's at. Um, I just, I, you know, I sign up for, they have like a package where if you buy it, it's just like, you just get all the wedding shows. And I, I buy that. I do all the Don shows and here Wait, in so they have a package where you get like all, because they do like four a year. It's like spring, fall, yeah, summer, winter. Yeah, we're just winter. All, all automatically. Oh, so they have a them. package for all four. That might be a little yeah, more enticing. Yeah, it's yearly too. That like you pay yearly. Yeah, that might be a little. You get a I'm discount. all about a deal on this. Um, but uh, I give the knot and wedding wire as much money as they'll take from me. Uh, I have the most expensive whatever account yeah. in every area that we... I even have some locations we like hardly service just because it's like, yeah, it's a five-hour trip for my far, furthest DJ, but eh, you never know, so, you know? So like... Um, it expands all the way uh, so to you, Georgia. So the, the way they explained it to me, because I remember having a talk with them, they have... In North Carolina, there's four zones. In North Carolina... Or three zones in North Carolina. There's... Charlotte, which is like Charlotte, Asheville, all that. Yeah, it's And then tall. there's the the Raleigh Triad one that's more linear, and then there's like the Fayetteville Coast one. Um, Maybe I don't do the Fayetteville Coast, if that's accurate. Because I know, I know I do the Raleigh. I know yeah, I do the Charlotte yeah, stretch. Yeah, you do those two. That's and the I know I do, do Columbia-Greenville stretch. Yeah, South Carolina. that's the one down in South Carolina below. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it, I'll, I'll probably look into that tomorrow and see, because I'll get the coast asap because that'll probably include charleston too which we are aiming for yeah i don't remember which one that all included i just remember it was like stupid cheap to add it though i mean the thing is is like in i comparison just to like raleigh and charlotte i spend as much money basic like, i spend a crap load of money on advertising but it comes back like with, oh, yeah. without that we wouldn't be doing the numbers we're doing so like what who cares most of the time i mean i think it pays off for me if we book it breaks even if we book one wedding between Wedding Wire and The Knot every single month. Uh-huh. And if we book two, we're profitable. Yeah. I mean, you know, I see all the time people are like fucking... Because uh, <laughs> I, I, I pay probably $60,000 a year bar, straight up. Um, I'd have to pull the number of month. I think it's somewhere around... I think last year between Wedding Wire and The Knot and Wedding Show is probably around thirty grand in, yeah. in marketing spend. Uh-huh. Something um, like that. But... uh fuck what was i saying oh um so like the knot and wedding wire i keep i keep graphs on it um and i remember the last time i looked at least a booked event via the knot was costing me roughly 25 dollars, something like that where wedding wire was costing closer to 120 dollars. but if you have unlimited supply which i don't but now it's getting to the point where i, I fucking have 18 djs and i can find more too mm-hmm. so the 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 supply is becoming what i would deem as unlimited um so fuck it even if it's 150 dollars who cares you know what i mean as long as i'm making a shitload more money than that or just more and it's worth my time and that rev- that uh that dj isn't bombing the gig and technically word of mouth all of a sudden it expands blah 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 you know um uh so it's it's worth it even 25 dollars it doesn't matter Mm -hmm. because it's more book gigs the the wedding shows too just just give it all to me whatever that's my thought process at least yeah because you're you're gonna get a return and like you said if if, if you have the djs to back it if you don't it's different yeah if if it's don't then you gotta be more strategic right if you're full then you're just wasting your money but if you don't literally fill up then it doesn't make sense to not truck on yeah. Drop them if you're dollars. someone like Bar, you have to be very strategic with where you put your money because well, you bar, have so many dates. Bar put a little money in that automate your DJP 
And bar is good. Is that yeah. a plug right now? Uh, <laughs> is I'm that a plug? Was, automate your DJP.com, a must have for all DJ event professionals. <laughs> I, think bar, I think bar showed you some things in Vegas too, originally. <sighs> Maybe. It's been so long. I, I'm I remember he, I remember you, when we had that sit down, you remember, in, the, in fucking Mojo's suite in yeah, Vegas. When me and Clive became yeah. best friends. <laughs> that day <laughs> i think it was the email like his email was like super clean like he had an HTML oh the email. format you're right yeah, yeah yeah he had a super formatted email and i had never seen that before um you're like putting that in tomorrow no i actually don't like doing that uh i've run into that a bunch of times now i if it comes so if it's coming from an app like mailchimp or infusionsoft or something that's designed to blast emails it's totally different because those companies follow certain rules that don't land your emails in spam boxes. Yep. However, if you're just sending it from Gmail, especially with a third-party controller, Gmail knows that, first off. That's why people have issues if their emails aren't set up correctly about landed spam boxes with DJ Event Planner. If you shut your shit up right, it's fine. But if you were to HTML... Uh, HTML out the email to where it looks like a MailChimp email, your your email is 10 times more likely to go to a spam folder. And what's more unprofessional? Uh, a, a, fancy, a fancy email or hitting a spam folder? <laughs> you know, like, uh, so I just, I just, and I use HTML in my emails, but not like to where it beautifies the email. Like it's like a hyperlink. Oh, so yeah, like you don't have like an animated thing that like pops up like DJ A Rock. I, I don't. Social. I do not. Social. No, I don't. I've seen some of those like where people post that on Facebook. Like this, I upgraded my email signature to be this fancy thing, and I'm sitting there like, dude, that probably just landed you in spam for everybody. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, simple to each their own, and if it's yeah. working. But like I said, make them pretty if you're using Mailchimp or or something like that. But chill out. Mm-hmm.